Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing great today. Today I wanted to introduce and share some new brushes with you guys, another brush set. You guys know I'm very passionate about brushes, especially trying to find those affordable and really good quality brushes. So today I found a set that I've been really enjoying and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm going to take you through all the information about them, how to buy them, where to buy them, close-ups of them. I'm also going to take you through demonstrations on how I created the eye look that I did today. That way you can see each brush in action, see how it goes, and see how it performs and everything like that. So, let's get started. The brushes that I'm talking about today are from Beauty Junkies. You can buy these on Amazon or on their website. I'll, of course, link it down below. So, this particular set that I have is the Pro Series Eye Brush Set. It retails for $39.97, but I do have a coupon code for you guys, which I will list again down below. All the information will be down below, um, and it's not an affiliate link, but it does give you $10 off this brush set, which is an amazing deal. Or you can buy each of these brushes individually for around $9, and then I have another coupon code. It's Katarina2. You get 25% off any single brush. Again, you can order on Amazon or on their site, free shipping as well, which is awesome. And if you guys do the math and break it down for eight brushes, that's a really good deal. You're paying just a little bit more technically than $5 a brush. So the way that it comes, you get this beautiful kind of faux leather bag that holds all the brushes. It's black and then hot pink in the inside. And then each brush did come with their own plastic wrap that does protect them. And you can keep these if you'd like for traveling purposes and everything like that. And then also in this one came a uh, sort of little coupon or a little deal, um, special savings for a limited time offer for brush gloves. These brushes all have solid wooden handles. They have a very nice weight. Also what I really like is they all have double crimped copper ferrules. So it's going to be very long lasting. It's going to last a very long time. I have already washed mine once and no shedding has happened. They are back to their normal shape, which I really like because sometimes that's the case with brushes. You wash them and all the time and then afterwards they just lose their shape. So the ones here, these are dirty because I did create the eyelash today, but I washed them last night and then before I filmed this part, this makes sense, I did close up so you'll see them freshly cleaned and everything like that. They also do have a 100% money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied with these within 30 days, you can send them back. I love when companies do that. Again, we are investing in makeup brushes, makeup in general, and it's nice to have that little guarantee that if it doesn't work out for you, if it's not what you expected or hoped for, you can always send it back. Also, these do a five-star rating on Amazon, this brush set particular. It has over 400 reviews. Let's go ahead and just jump into each brush. So in terms of the packaging of the actual brush, again, it is a black wooden handle and then a silver ferrule. And then you do get their logo for Beauty Junkies. And then what I really, really appreciate about these brushes is that they have it labeled here for you on what this brush does. It makes it very easy in tutorials especially to kind of tell you guys what I'm doing. You know some other brushes that I have, I'm kind of just like, I'm using a big round fluffy blending brush and it's sometimes kind of hard to tell exactly what I'm using. These are really nice. So this one right here is the Pro Tapered Blending Brush. This I used today to start off my transition color. I just took a nice taupey shade. I just started buffing circular in my crease area and that's going to create that beautiful transition shade. This brush is amazing. You never have too many brushes like this because they are just perfect for blending, perfect for that transition color, and they're just very, very essential to me. This brush here is the Pro All Over Shader Brush. This again is one of these brushes that you can never have enough of, and I particularly really like this shape because it's not too big. I don't know about you guys, but I do have kind of smaller eyelids area up to my crease, so I don't like those brushes that are shader brushes that are really large because when I'm packing it, I sometimes get messy and I'll go over my crease and then it looks kind of sloppy. I really appreciate these ones that have a smaller uh, overall tip and then you can just pat it all over your eye which is what I did today to do my all over lid color. Kind of similar to the other brush this is the pro crease brush so it's not going to be tapered like the first one here like like you can see here the difference a little bit and this one's also a tiny bit smaller. This is really good for just being slightly more precise in your crease area kind of building up that crease color but if you don't want it too defined. I really like to do this um, to kind of blow out my crease and I also like to do this under my eye to kind of buff out that lower lash line and kind of smoke it out and blow that out like you guys will see here. Um, it does a really good job at that as well. Love these type of brushes. Again like I mentioned for the other brush that was kind of similar you can never have enough brushes like this because they all get used. This is the Precision Eyeliner Brush. Now I use this either for eyeliner or what I really like using angled brushes like this is for my eyebrows. And this one particular because it is a lot smaller than other brushes that I have for my eyebrows or precision eyeliner brushes. A really good job at kind of carving out my eyebrows and then doing small strokes to imitate hairs where I have, you know, sparse areas. But I like that it was so small and so pointed that I could really kind of carve that out and elongate my tail. Just a really overall great brush. And again, this would be perfect for gel liner. Along with kind of precision brushes, this is the Pro Flat Definer. 
This brush I love for doing kind of like a powdered eyeliner, if that makes sense. So I take a really deep color, and I do this a lot in my tutorials and my looks in general. I just really like the soft look that it gives um, because of this beautiful straight edge that it has. So I take a really dark color, and then I kind of just do padding motions to kind of create a blown out kind of soft liner. And so today I use it with a really dark brown. It just gives a hint of definition on the lash line, but it's not going to be too dramatic. It's not going to be too intense or anything like that. Just great brushes. This is all, would also be really good for um, gel liner as well, and also really good for defining that lower lash line. Next we have one of my favorite brushes. This is a Pro Blending Brush. I don't have a brush like this in my collection, actually, and I have wanted a brush like this in my collection. It's just that perfect crease blending brush, in my opinion, especially for the outer V area. Today I use it, one, to kind of clean up any edges that I had, and then I also took it right here in the crease because it has a kind of unique flat but fluffy shape at the same time, and you can really get in that crease area and then blend and buff it out, and it just creates a, such a beautiful effect. Love this brush. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite brush out of this whole collection. So getting to the last two brushes, this one right here is the Pro Angled Shading Brush. Now this I use two different ways. I first use it on my lid today to kind of put a um, lighter color right in the middle just to kind of make my eyes pop a little bit because it does have that nice angle. But it's also kind of fluffy but not too fluffy to where you can still be precise with it and you can just pop on a lighter shade right in the center here. And I also use this with a matte shade for my brow bone highlight. Because it does have that curved angle right here, it's going to curve with your eyebrow and it's just going to be very easy, quick to use to kind of give in those little crevice areas. And I think this is probably my new favorite brush for my brow bone highlight. I hadn't used brushes like this previously for brow bone highlights, and ever since I use it today, I'm like, I really like that for my brow bone highlight. The last brush, and again, is something I'm very excited about. It doesn't look very exciting. It is the Pro Pencil Brush, and you're kind of like another pencil brush. But honestly, this pencil brush is magical because other pencil brushes that I have are very dense, and they're kind of stiff. So I really like using my pencil brushes to, again, buff out this lower lash line, kind of smoke it out and build up some color. But when it's too dense, it doesn't blend well. And so that was the case with my other brushes. I would try to smoke it out, and you would just see harsh lines, and it would look kind of sloppy. This one is dense, but it's not too dense. It has a really nice bend to it, and it's just amazing and perfect for blending under there again. You can also use it here on the crease or to do a cut crease, but yes, love this brush. Definitely all for having high-quality brushes, but if you can find them at an affordable, affordable price, I'm all for that as well. And this eight-piece brush set with the bag that it comes with was $39.97. Again, I will link my code Katarina1 to get $10 off this, which makes it $29 for eight brushes. You just can't beat that. They also sell kabuki brushes, individual and in sets, and they also sell makeup sponges. So definitely check them out because they do have a wide variety and they are super, super affordable. I'll again, list all the information down below in the description box if you are curious. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.